Hello there. Hi there. I wanted to, I hope everyone's doing well today. I wanted to just uh, jump on and share with you how gratituding has really, really created this amazing, calm feeling within me. Um, I practice gratitude every day and I've been practicing it for quite some time now and I usually start my day writing out 10 things that I'm grateful for, things that I already have but things that I want as well in the present tense. That's part of my gratitude uh, exercise that I do daily, um, something I learned from Bob Proctor and Sandy Gallagher. And that exercise has been just amazing for me and it's created this, you know, created this mindset of just focusing on the good in my life. But lately what I've been doing is I've also put in gratitude breaks throughout the day. And, you know, I'll, I'll do one in mid-morning or late morning, and then I'll do one late afternoon and then in the evening, and especially before I go to bed. And what I have found is it's just been phenomenal. Like, I'm just feeling this amazing sense of calmness, especially with what's happening out there. And it's just been amazing. Um, you know, Wallace D. Waddles in Science of Getting Rich says that, the entire process of mental adjustment and atonement can be summed up in one word, gratitude. And so the mental adjustment part to me is has been about just, you know, focusing on what I want. And when I focus on what I want, I'm giving more energy to that. So I don't want to focus on the lack part of things. I don't want to focus on what I don't have. Because every time I start thinking about that, then I'm giving it energy and more of that will come. So I want to just shift my focus and my mindset around what I want. And so when I'm grateful, I'm being, I, I'm, I'm focusing on what I have and what, you know, and, and appreciating it. So one of the things that I have found over the last little while is, you know, my son and I would go out for a walk every, you know, afternoon. It's one of the few things we're able to do right now, given the circumstances. And so I go out and we go for a walk. And as we're going for our walk, I really just appreciate, first of all, the time I get with them, the one-on-one -on -one time alone, the nature, the fresh air, and just, you know, being able to observe everything that's going on around, you know, and how things have just slowed down and I'm able to appreciate more. And so that's another thing I've been able to do is just focusing on what I have it's just created that internal feeling of, wow, you know what? This is something I never really focused on before. So that's one of the things I wanted to tell you about. <laughs> and in terms of the, the atonement part, that's about coming in harmony with what you want. And so one of the things that Wallace D. Waddle says in The Science of Getting Rich, and I just wanted to read this out, is the grateful mind is constantly fixed upon the best. Therefore, it tends to become the best. It takes the form or character of the best and will receive the best. This is a part in this chapter, I mean, Wall Street Waddles has an entire chapter on gratitude. But that one statement that I just read out, that's a statement that I've pondered on quite a bit. And I'm realizing more and more as I'm practicing gratitude, you know, not just at the start of my day, but throughout my day, and even more so when I go to bed, I'm finding that my thinking has shifted and I'm really just focusing on what I have instead of what I don't have. In the past, I had a very huge uh, lack or limitation uh, mindset and I've worked hard at changing it to focus on what I have and, you know, what what I want. And that's one, one uh, statement from this book that I've really thought about a lot and pondered upon. And I'm feeling like it's finally setting it. <clears throat> so that's something that I would highly encourage you to do is, you know, start your day with gratitude if you're not already doing so. But more so, um, more so put in the gratitude breaks, you know, midday, you know, in the afternoon, in the evening, just pause for a second and think of three things you're grateful for. And at the end of your day, close off your day by being grateful for three amazing things that happen throughout the day. And believe me, there are good things happening all the time. There's always amazing things. And no matter what the situation is, there's always something good in it. It doesn't matter what it is. And we just have to be patient and take the time to look for it. So incorporate gratitude into your life if you already aren't doing it. And if you're already doing it, great, but add more by doing gratitude breaks. Trust me, it will help you and create more calmness within. And at this time, we all want to really just 
have a relaxed, calm mind, because that is one of the best things we can do for ourselves, because we are in full control of ourselves, and when we have a calm mind, it's even better. So try that, and uh, I'll be back again soon to talk about some more things that I'm doing to help myself over these trying times. Have a great day.